Hello my crafty loving friends, welcome to Repurpose My Way, I'm Shelly. Today we're going to make these really cool wooden Christmas trees and I'm going to show you how to make the wreath on the front too. Okay, so we're starting out with four inch wide boards and they are going to be four inches uh, four feet tall and uh, they are, will measure out to be four feet two inches when everything is put on. The triangle at the top goes up two inches above the stand so makes it a little taller. Then I cut down these two by fours that I'm going to use to reinforce to attach my feet for the bottom to make it more stable to stand. We're only going to do one tree today, but I do have enough to do two. I kind of want to keep one for like a pattern if I have any more orders for these trees. So that's how I came to make it. Somebody brought me the picture and said, can you make me this? So here we are. Now my husband cut out these, the pieces for these. So um, I can't give you all the measurements right now, but at the end or near the end of this video, I will have a picture that you can freeze frame on and write down all everything that you need or take a screenshot or whatever you need to be able to build this. So I used a little wood glue on all of my pieces and then I put it uh, screwed down with regular drywall screws. That's what I always use. Um, but I use Gorilla Glue, wood glue, and that stuff is great. So this I'm showing you putting on the the feet. Uh, I've got a little crack there. I'm just showing you that when I screwed it in, it must have cracked the wood in there. But um, the feet go in flat uh, in all four directions. As you can see, it kind of comes out and then each butts up against each other and comes out the other way. Those are all glued on and screwed on. So those will stay there for good. Now this is an outdoor tree, so that's why I want to make sure that, you know, if you do want to put it outside, that it is good for outdoor weather. Now I sanded this down and somehow I got a crack in this board. It looks like it's got a really big knot in it and I think it just cracked. So I, glued, I took it off, glued it, and I nailed some little finish nails in it and uh, it'll stay just fine with that, but I'm just showing you that that happened. Mistakes happen. So I took some wa uh, antique wax, Waverly antique wax, watered it down, and I put it all over the bare wood. And so I was just wiping all that down. So here I'm showing you, these are the, all the pieces that my husband had cut out. I had him cut them. Last year I made two of these trees and he cut them out and I uh, sanded and painted them and I put them all together. And he said, I'll do two extra trees for you for next year. I said, that's great, so here we are. So I got them all laid out and I've stained the backs and the fronts of them. And again, I use the watered down Waverly antique wax. I'd like to thank the three ladies that put on the hashtag what would you make collaboration. Uh, first it is creating it myself and then simple roots, simple living and okay at home DIY. These gals are wonderful and I'll put the links to their channels down in my description. So if you want to go check them out, I really would appreciate that. I'll also have the uh, playlist for this collaboration down there as well for you to check out and check out everybody that has joined. Now after I have all my pieces stained and dry, I have gone ahead and glued and put the screws in the back of the tree so that you can't see them from the front. And I've glued them all down with the wood glue. So here it is standing up in the front. We've got all the pieces on and everything is stained and sealed up nicely. So now I'm taking some green paint. It's just a plain acrylic paint and I'm putting it on uh, thinly, just a dry brush type. Um, I'm leaving the edges. I still want to see the stain through. This is going to be a rustic tree. So I like to keep it 
seeing the stain as much as possible. Uh, this is showing I used some white Waverly wax and I went over it and it was still a little bit wet so you get the varying colors in there which I really liked. So it dried a little bit, that wax dried up and I wiped it down and then I took my brush and I spray used my spray paint and spray painted the bristles of the brush and then brushed it on to my tree. If you hadn't seen any of my other videos, I've talked about my brush that's been with me for many, many years that I used to do that with, and it works great. So now I have several layers. It looks like several layers of paint and wax going on. And so now I'm taking some spray sealer and just sealing everything in and making it look nice and keeping it so you can keep it clean and it's good in the weather and I put a heavy coat on and let it dry and then I put two more coats on so this is going to be a nice heavily sealed piece because it could end up being outside. All right so there it is pretty well dry and now while that is still drying, I went upstairs and I'm using this wreath that I got from Christmas Tree Shop. And it was totally plain and all mushed up and I fluffed out those, uh, the greenery on it. And then I grabbed the netting uh, ribbon, I guess you'd call it, and or the tool and, that I got from Dollar Tree maybe? I believe I got it from Dollar Tree. Um, and I'm putting that on and I'm just showing you that I do that. And what I do is I use, because that's wired greenery, I use the wire to put it, uh, to hold the ribbon down. And I just kind of zigzag it along, fluff it up, make a little loop, and then hold it down with the greenery. So then I cut that off and I took out enough to make uh, just a messy bow, just like when you, you know, tie your shoes. And uh, it's got some really not long squiggly tails, which I think are so cool. And then this uh, ornament piece I got from Christmas Tree Shop, and I thought it would go well because it's a buffalo check, and so is the ribbon. And uh, so I attached that with some of my paddle uh, green wire that I have, my little lightweight floral wire and made sure everything was on there nicely because this could be outside in the wind and the rain and the snow and who knows. So then I added a few more pine cones just to round it all out and then I hung my wreath on to my tree. And let's check out and see how it looks. Coming up in a few seconds, you will be able to either stop the video or take a screenshot of all the measurements of each board, how tall, how wide they are. So they're all right there for you. Hopefully you'll be able to grab those if you want to make this tree. I'd like to thank everybody for coming and watching my video. I hope you liked my tree. And I'd also like to thank OK at Home DIY, Creating It Myself, and Simple Roots, Simple Living for creating this collaboration of what would you make. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, everybody.